Hey guys, what is going on? Nick here, and welcome back to another Death Note reaction video. Today, we have episode 32. And boy, this is seriously coming to an end. Like, every episode, just getting closer and closer to the end, I'm just like, no! But, it's gotta happen. And, episode 31, uh, a lot of things were happening. Definitely enjoy that uh, episode, because the uh, light, actually... He had Misa forget her memories, so the couple guys from the task force only get suspicious, and when they're searching around, he wouldn't have a death note. Now there's this new person with the, uh, Misa's death note, and he is kind of following what Light wants him to do, so he's happy about that, and the guys at the task force, Japan, Japanese task force, won't like suspect anything. But I don't know, we'll see what happens in this episode, so I just want to get right into this. Yep. Delete. Oh yeah, that part was Delete. like crap. Delete. I feel like he's gonna. Have... Japanese adult would say that Teru Mikami was a child with a strong sense of justice. He was able to distinguish right from wrong better than any of his peers. Hmm. And compared to the average Japanese person. Teru had been through and seen far worse miseries and even witnessed death. Oh. Damn, the hell. Selection. I wonder if this guy's gonna have a big part of the finale. Is that light? Okay, no. So this is going to be in about him time. There is only good and evil. That was one of the first universal truths I grasped from observing the world around me when I was a child. Every human being, without exception, ends up falling into one category or the other. Even in those innocent years of elementary school, one could not escape that fact. As class president, I strive to achieve great things for my fellow students. But there were always enemies. Good against evil. No, stop, let go of me, please. Evil has to be confronted. What do you want, nerd? There were times when it seemed evil would triumph over good. But no matter what happened to me, I felt happy for one reason. Thank you, Teru. Hearing those words Man. of gratitude from the victims made me want to save them again and again. For that reason, I never spared any effort. And in the end, I was able to stand up for my sense of justice. Man, that really hit me right here. Damn. Was only true in the world of children. Adults are different. Middle school oh. was another matter entirely. The more I confronted evil, the more enemies I had to face. Victims would become participants, and even the people watching would be influenced by evil and become enemies themselves. But for justice to triumph, it requires action. So I realized to serve justice, I had to delete evil. The only person who understood my hopes and remained my ally was the woman who raised me on her own. My mother. No, rather it used to be my mother. Well, this is a very interesting episode. Not everything in the world is going to work the way you want it to. You have to stop doing this. There's no reason for you to suffer so much for your beliefs. 
What do you think you're proving getting hurt like this? This is plain foolishness. You have to realize that some things will never change. My mother was wrong. She didn't side with justice. She was one of those who deserved to be deleted. Damn. That was when the miracle happened. She died? Four of the worst delinquents from my school lost control of their oh. car while they were joyriding. They died instantly. One bystander was killed as well. That bystander was my mother. In one fell swoop, all the people I resented had been deleted. At first, I was terrified. I couldn't stop shivering. But then, it hit me. With these people out of the picture, how many others would benefit as a result? Clearly, their victims were relieved. But beyond that, wouldn't everyone in my class be happier now that they were gone? And sure enough, I was right. Our classroom became a peaceful, joyful place. Seems a little bit convenient. There will always be consequences for evil deeds. That is the way the world is. The way it should be. Evil must be deleted. Now then, let's see. Are there any more problems with these records? No, they're with fine. With every Thank passing you. year, my commitment to justice only grew stronger. I saw that there will always be those who have no reason to exist. Those whose very existence is a threat to society. And the closer they grew to adulthood, the less likely it was that they would ever reform. They could only be deleted. Jim. Mysteriously, every time I judged someone as evil, they would soon be taken care of. Was it coincidence? Was I special somehow? In the end, it didn't matter. Divine judgment must be brought upon evil. And if it isn't, then someone must take it upon themselves and this is to when punish evil. Kira became That's relevant. why I became a prosecutor. It is the role of the prosecutor to see that evil is brought to justice. It was an ideal job for me. And then... God came before me. Yep. Everything that had been happening around me wasn't coincidence. It was divine justice. <laughs> God had been watching me. God had seen how I did not surrender to evil. He reached out his hand and punished the evil people for me. Once I realized that, I started to frequent places where God was bound to be watching. And then it happened. God recognized me, as I had always hoped. Not only that, but he found me worthy of sharing his power to eliminate evil. With this, it doesn't matter if I can't hear his voice. I shall figure out what Kira wants and carry out his will. Delete. 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 Damn. Delete. 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 Wow, it's a really interesting way to throw someone into the story. I really like it. Not expecting this to be about him. Oh, and now we have light. Okay. Mikami made the choice to kill Demagawa himself. I never requested it. An understandable move, but now there's no spokesperson. Kira needs a voice. At the moment, I can't make any moves myself. He do. Kira isn't saying anything. He must be in a situation where he can't move freely. But this is an important time for him. We need a spokesperson to spread his word to the people. Then I will take the initiative. That's what I was actually thinking. Is he gonna do it? Mm -hmm. Extra, extra! There's a new development in the Kira case. He's chosen a new spokesperson to take Demigawa's place. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Kiyomi Takeda. Good evening. This is Kiyomi Takeda from News 6. Starting today, it will be my duty to spread the word of Kira accurately and quickly. From now on, NHN will fairly... So we picked NHN star Kira newscaster, huh? Kira's got good taste. That was the girl that he was kind of dating? Idea. There's no mistaking it. That's the girl that liked dated at university. You've moved quickly, Mikami. 
however, it won't take them long to find the connection between us, which could be a problem. No, on second thought, she's not a bad choice. It's one I never would have considered since I already knew her. This could actually make things easier. I can definitely use her, but I'll have to find a way to contact her soon. Kiyomi Takara. I had a chance to meet her when I was part of a debate program she was hosting. She was a shrewd and fair host for the most part. But her attitude changed subtly when Kira's name was mentioned. She had a uniquely rigid sense of justice that I could identify with. She hates crimes and social evils with a passion. Mm. I talked with her privately several times after that. She clearly supports Kira. But it's more than that. She thinks like Kira. That makes her the broadcaster most worthy of being the new voice of Kira. Okay. Kiyomi Takada. It'd be too suspicious for Kira to choose an ex-girlfriend as his representative. And there's been no sign of Light sending her any messages. Maybe I'm thinking about this too much. Everyone, I just had an idea. I was thinking we could make use of Kiyomi Takada. Huh? To be honest, I know her. Back in university, she and I were actually dating for a little while. So he admits it. He has no intention to hide the connection. If she's acting as his spokesperson, she must be receiving orders from him. She's in contact with Kira somehow. I think our best bet is to use that connection to find a way to Kira through her. But Taki's probably doing it because Kira's threatening her, right? She might be too scared to help us out with our investigation. That's a good point. I'm not too worried about that. I know her current cell phone number. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to convince her once we get talking. His She'll face. Me if I ask her to. <laughs> wow. Listen to this guy. You're the man, Light. Talking to her will be easy, but the real challenge will be to get her to help us find and arrest Kira. We used to talk about a lot of different topics while we were in college, and one thing was clear. She worships Kira. <gasps> but we might be able to use that to our advantage. The police claim they support Kira, but aren't doing anything one way or the other. So I'll reveal that I've joined the police and ask her what we can do to help Kira further. To her, it'll sound like a good idea. We can convince her to assist us as long as we pretend it's for Kira's benefit. Do you think they'll go over well? I'm not entirely sure, but it's worth a try at least. I agree. It'd be foolish for us to pass up a lead like this. In that case, I'll call her tonight. Life. If you don't mind, I'd like to listen in on your conversation with Miss Takeda. Of course. That's fine with me. Actually, it's better if you do. If she lets slip something about Kira, it would be best if more than one of us was listening. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Very driven story. Yes, hello? Kiyomi? This is Light Yagami. Light? Hi, it's been a while. What's going on? Kiyomi, I have something important to tell you. Could we meet somewhere? I have a favor to ask you. A favor? Yeah. I know my timing is pretty bad. I mean, you're the woman the whole world is watching right now, so it might not be possible. <sighs> Don't play innocent and humble with me, Light. You wouldn't have called if you didn't think it was possible to see me. You're right. Uh -huh. Ever since we graduated, I wanted to talk to you again, but... Is so getting jealous now? And now it looks like our jobs have brought us together. After so much time, our paths are about to cross again. Call me crazy, but I feel like this is fate. <laughs> what do you mean, our jobs? I'm working with the police now. That was part of what I wanted to talk to you about. In person. The police aren't doing anything to defy Kira at this point. Alright. I may be able to help you, depending on what you're asking for. I appreciate it. At the very least, I just want you to hear what I have to say. Anywhere. Just us two. Well, okay then. After tonight's broadcast is finished. That sounds perfect. I'll book a hotel room for us. A hotel room? Are you sure? The last I heard, you were still living with Miss Vimane. Are things not going too well on the home front? Well, to be honest... Lisa's just not intelligent enough to be my partner. <sighs> wow. Mochi. Yes? Your cooking is really good, and I appreciate that you're doing everything for me, but it's been five days now. Right. Light doesn't know about you hanging around all the time, does he? 
I'm beginning to get a really bad feeling about this whole thing. Uh -huh. I mean, I know that Light trusts me totally, but don't you think most people would start saying I'm cheating on him? Oh, he'd be so jealous. Mir and the others told me that this woman's supposed to be the second Kira. Could it really be this unbelievable <laughs> stupid girl? It's just chocolate. It seems that Kira still hasn't tried to contact me yet. If he's in a situation where he's unable to contact me even if he wants to, then the next best thing would be for him to contact Takeda instead. Good evening. This is the 9 o'clock news. First, I have an announcement that comes directly from Kira. His words are to become the new law of the world. Kira will never forgive those people whose existence is a threat to justice. But he will also not forgive those who live wastefully and refuse to use their abilities to contribute to the betterment of society. What? So Kira's gonna kill lazy people now? You're kidding me. You're taking this too far, Mikami. It's too early to be making those kinds of statements. I've gotta get a hold of them soon. Matsuda, how is it? Good. Audio and video online, no blind spots. Until next time. The 9 o'clock news is just ending. Everything's in order. I'll head back to HQ. Okay. What is that? Looks like the Eiffel Tower. Welcome to hell. <laughs> really? Slow motion. Matsuda's gonna have to, uh... uh I'm sorry, it's just... Anyway, please, sit down. To be honest, it doesn't seem like that long since we last saw each other. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what the hell is Light doing? He's not saying anything. If he just stays silent, she'll get suspicious. Come on. Don't tell me you've never been in love before, E-Day. Right. How's it going? The mood's perfect. That's not what I meant. Uh, uh. Please excuse me. Kira. What? Uh. Is it Mikami? She just said it's Kira. Kira's contacting her directly? You should answer it. Um, right. Hello. No, I'm with a friend right now. Yes, we're alone. If luck is on my side, I can get on the phone myself. Well, Mikami, can you make it happen? He wanted to meet me all of a sudden. Someone who requests a private meeting with Kira's spokesperson. I'd like to speak with him, if I may. <gasps> he said that he wants to speak to you. Perfect. I was right to choose you, Mikami. She's passed the phone to Light. It could be dangerous if he's the real thing. Yes, hello? Who am I speaking to? Five pages on November 26th? I don't get it. What do you mean? <laughs> You're God! You're doing well, Mikami. Let's just see how much you can figure out. God, you're not free to speak right now. Yes. <laughs> at the moment. Yes. But how can I trust you're the real Kira? Is he asking me to judge someone right now? Turn to Sakura TV! What's that? Sakura TV? Quick, let's check it out. We'll invite Kira back to our program, no matter what it might be. Damn, dude, I love this episode. Holy crap. He died. This is bad. He's the real thing. Mikami. Yes, you're even better than I expected. What? He's removing the bugs? We don't have a choice. I don't understand. What's going on? Now I can talk without any constraints. What? Listen, Kiyomi. I am the real Kira. <laughs> That's right. I'm Kira. That's what I wanted to tell you. Light is Kira? Listen. I won't allow you to ask Kiyomi who I am. You don't need to know my identity. Yes. I'll leave the rest to you, God. 
God. Do you understand? I am Kira. The man who is on the phone is one of my followers who I've shared my power with. I... I can't believe it's you. You were the only man I ever really admired. To be honest, the only man I ever felt a connection with. And now, to find out you're Kira... It's a whole new world. It's incredible. A whole new world. Please, okay, join that's, that's me, me. Whoa. And he's gonna get rid of Misa now. Is that the dude? That's the Apple Tower, right? Or is that some place in Japan? Light, are you okay? Yeah. Kiyomi was able to work things out with Kira. I've decided that from now on, I'm gonna pretend to be dating her. We might be able to find Kira that way. Interesting. Delete. 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 Wow, guys, what one hell of an episode. I actually seriously enjoyed this, like, a lot. He's met with his old past girlfriend who really admires Kira. He tells him, tells her that he is Kira. And then she's like, oh my gosh. And then he's going to pretend date her. And I don't even know what the hell's going to happen with Misa now. And then the p people at the Japanese task force are just like, Oh, he's fine. So yeah, everything was just working out again. Don't know about the guy he was having to be Kira, but besides that, what a fantastic episode. Seriously enjoyed it. Just everything about it. Just the characters, the way the story developed in the first 10 minutes were just about uh, the guy playing Kira. So it was pretty, it was cool. I just loved it. Cannot wait to see what the next episode has in store. That being said, guys, I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace, guys.